QuickBooks Pro Plus Desktop 2022 OneNote Presentation Accounts Payable Graphs. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Pro Plus Desktop 2022. If you have access to OneNote, would like to follow along, icon left hand side, topic introductions 4300 Accounts Payable Graphs. Also take a look at the Immersive Reader Tool topic introductions in the text area as well. Same name, same number, but with transcripts. Transcripts that can be translated into multiple languages, either listened to or read in them. Same name and numbers, presentations as well. Topic introductions designed to give an introduction to the topic. Provide screenshots, links where applicable. Give accounting background to complement the presentations and can be used to follow along with the presentations if you don't have access to the software at that time. Closing the icon on the left-hand side, we're looking at the accounts payable graph, which of course will be complementing a balance sheet account of accounts payable representing us owing vendors money. You can get there by going to the reports drop-down, vendors and payables, into the accounts payable graph, or going to the report center, and then to the vendors and payables, scrolling down until you see the nice graph. Looks similar to the receivable graph, but now we're talking payables here. So we're breaking this out by our vendors. We get the colorful graph breaking out by vendors on the left-hand side. Again, you don't have a lot of functionality with it. You get this 3D graph, and it's very colorful. You can't change the colors, but it could be useful for what it could be used for. Although, again, you could export data to Excel and make your own graph if you so choose. You also have the same kind of breakout for the aging type of report. The supplemental reports that would be complementing these would be breaking out the vendors by by breaking out the accounts payable by vendor and then the accounts payable aging reports which can be used to make your own graphs if you so choose here's going to be our vendor balance summary so if you take a look at the vendor balance summary note it doesn't have all the kind of subtotals that we had in the in the receivable uh, report the receivable by customer so this is one that you can easily export to excel and just then make a graph out of it within Excel and have a whole lot more functionality. Here's the accounts payable, which is the supporting data for the for the other graph that was in place. So you can break the information out by, you know, current 1 to 30 and so on and so forth. You can export that to Excel and make this top graph too. It's a little bit more tricky because you got to visualize how exactly that's going to work and you got to delete some data, but Pretty, pretty easy to do. And again, you got a whole lot more flexibility in how you want the, the graph to appear.